ABC, David once again. I thought I'd try something a little bit different and show you guys some of the things that I've been uh, listening to over the last uh, week or so. So I thought it might make this a regular thing. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Uh, I've got a few things to show here, um, and I've had a lot of fun listening to all this stuff during the week. So let's get stuck into it. All right. First up, I saw this band during the week. Uh, and they were unbelievable. I've never seen them before, and uh, I actually saw them open for Alter Bridge. Living Colour. This is their debut from '88. Vivid. This is this is an awesome record. There's got there's so many fantastic songs on here. Cold Personality. Most of you will probably know. Uh, Desperate People. Uh, open Letter. And one of my one of my favourites. Uh, Memories Can't Wait. This is a limited edition red vinyl version, which is fantastic. I was in a bit of a heavy mood the other night, so I thought I'd break out some Sacrifice by Saxon. Uh, this thing kicks butt uh, all the way through. This is, this is a great record. One of my favourite gatefolds. Um, this actually was sent to me by uh, Maggie, Tour for Willow, as part of some VCLT. And I love listening to this thing. It's... Um, just the sort of thing you can you can put on, listen to the whole thing straight straight through, and uh, get your butt kicked. Um, this is the um, picture disc version, which is sweet. Uh, so I'm really happy to have this on. And any time I, I break this thing out, uh, the neighbours better look out. Alrighty, Gary Clark Jr. This guy is fantastic. Uh, blues, predominantly a, a blues artist. Um, fantastic guitar player. Uh, definitely has a, a Albert King, Stevie Ray Vaughan um, sort of flavour to his playing. Uh, this record, Black and Blue, though, if you haven't heard it, um, it does have a, a strong blues influence all the way through, but it, it's really quite diverse um, and modern in its in its approach and its production approach. Uh, a two LP set. Give it a listen. It's it's fantastic. All right, here's one that um, I love. A band called Stone Axe. Uh, their record's uh, the second record called Two. Uh, this band is really a classic rock style group, and uh, if you're into any, any kind of classic um, classic rock, be it Thin Lizzy or Free, Bad Company, um, any of that sort of stuff, Stone Axe is definitely one to check out. Uh, another one that um, must be played loud. And I don't have to really say anything about this one. There's not a week that goes by that this probably doesn't get spun in the household. Um, and I had a mate come over uh, who hadn't actually heard Boston before. Uh, which, who hasn't heard Boston? Anyway, uh, had to break out their debut. Um, and needless to say, he was extremely impressed uh, with this band. How could you not be? It's Boston. Alright, got a couple of soundtracks here. First up is uh, soundtrack to the movie Once. Uh, a brilliant movie if you haven't seen it actually. If, you, if you're into music at all, or if in fact you've been in a band before, uh, this, this movie is, is fantastic. Uh, it stars Glenn Hansen from Irish band The Frames, and also Marketa Uglova. And the music on this is really, really great. Um, if, you can find this, if you can find this soundtrack on, on record, it's really, really wonderful. Fantastic pressing, it's got a really great uh, insert or um, record cover rather. Really want to really want to look out for as once. And there's one more soundtrack. I bet you can't guess what it is. My favourite. This is um, VCLT from LJ. And uh, this is another one that just gets a constant spin in my joint. Uh, you know, you know all about it. Alrighty, I was in a bit of a mood for some hard, bluesy, psychedelic rock uh, the other night. This is an American band called Heavy Eyes, uh, and their record called Myra. This this thing kicks butt as well. Um, I actually, was first I first found out about this through Greeno. He I think he he bought this one week, and I took took some notes and, and went and bought it online that second. 
and uh, yeah, really glad I did. If you haven't heard Heavy Eyes and you like a bit of psychedelic, funky, bluesy, hard stuff, um, really, really worth a listen. Alright, here's one of my best kept secrets. A uh, Dutch band called The Gathering. Uh, their 2012 record called Disclosure. Um, a fantastic band, actually a band that started out as a really, really heavy metal band um, and have sort of reinvented themselves a lot over the course of their career. Uh, this record, Disclosure, is actually uh, an alternative rock record and they have a couple of fantastic uh, singers. This is, this is probably my favourite Gatefall, I think. Check that out. I love that gateful. Uh, a couple of singers in the band, a couple of female singers. Um, one of them reminds me a real, real lot of uh, Canadian Sarah McLaughlin, who I love. Uh, so when I heard um, this, just had to find a way to get it. Um, if you haven't heard this, go check it out. They've got a lot of great songs on it. Um, probably my favourite is uh, Gemini One. So go have a listen to that on, on YouTube. Gemini One by The Gathering. Alright, I broke out some old school stuff last night. Here's George Jackson, The Fame Sessions. Uh, George Jackson is a guy who wrote hundreds of songs for, for many uh, big artists including Wilson Pickett and a whole bunch of others. And he didn't actually record much himself uh, but there was about a two year period uh, at the Fame uh, Records um, studio where he, he did record himself um, yeah, over those two years, quite a, quite a few songs. This is a compilation uh, of all those, ses those fame sessions and actually Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame, um, introduced me to this, to this artist. Uh, this, I think it's a UK pressing, um, a nice, nice green, one of my favourite colours and truly if, if you're a fan of uh, soul and R&B, and even anything from anything from Memphis uh, through the 60s and uh, early 70s. Uh, this is just fan amazing stuff. You have to go and have a listen. So it's uh, George Jackson. Anything by him, just great. Rocked a bit of Freedom Hawk the other night. Uh, this is their record, Holding On, from 2012. This again, this is another <clears throat> a VCLT. Uh, gift from, from Greener and uh, this one smacks butt too. It, imagine I guess uh, similar style to maybe it's got a very strong Ozzy Osbourne vibe to it this one. The singer ha has a really great voice um, and reminds me a lot of Ozzy and this kind of reminds me of uh, the first couple of records that he did with Randy Rhodes after leaving Black Sabbath. Um, just a lot of great heavy riffs and uh, great um, arrangements and really, really fantastic musicians. This is a hard pressing to find, I've been told, so I'm really happy to have it. But if you can find one, um, go and check this out. Another smashing onslaught of cool stuff. So this is the first video that I've shot showing off some of the stuff that I've been spinning lately. I might make a, a regular thing of it. I probably need a name for this, so Spin Cycle? Maybe? Let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, thanks for, again for checking it all out. Uh, it's the weekend, so keep rocking, enjoy it, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.